Hi, I'm Bill McLaughlin, Editor-in-Chief of Furniture Today. I'm here with the Furniture Today Las Vegas team who just returned from market, which by most accounts was one of the strongest in some time. If it hadn't been for the recent congestion at the West Coast ports, both retailers and manufacturers say this could have been a really stellar market. Here with the FTTV team, we're going to go around the table and just give you a little taste of what everyone saw there. Well, Bill, you touched on something really important. The, the um, congestion at ports it was kind of the story of the show. There were a number of showrooms that didn't even get any of their samples in, and there were a lot of holes. Um, on occasional, that's what I was looking at product-wise. I saw a lot of interesting use of materials. Uh, mixed media is nothing new in that category, but... I was seeing things like at Phillips Collection, um, they're taking it to a new level. Um, gold and rose gold flakes embedded in a tabletop. Ta um, shredded jeans embedded in a tabletop. A lot of interesting texture. On the case goods side, um, there were also some holes on the floor, but I think that the manufacturers did a terrific job in their presentations. In spite of the samples that weren't there, they had some great inline product and, and some new product as well. And I think... On, to reflect on Powell's point about materials, materials is nothing new in case goods, but we're seeing some different applications of materials, particularly within the dining resources who are using, making great use of metal and wood together to create some industrial looks, some loft looks. And, and in, on the Finnish side, particularly at companies like Standard, we saw some interesting new applications of Finnish sage greens combined with wood tones for a really eclectic, great look. Cindy, what did you see at market? Well, Bill, you know, on the upholstery side, we're always looking at trends and traffic. And so, as usual, the upholstery guys um, were having a great market, had a lot of traffic. Um, and we saw some great trends, everything from weathered leathers to blues, um, even a nod to the color of the year, Marsala. But I think the most exciting thing was really seeing how a lot of them um, are starting to embrace the, the, the make product to lifestyle stages. Um, they're really starting to think about that someone's not going to buy the same sofa when they're 20 that they'll buy when they're 40, and they're adjusting their product line accordingly. Well, the retailers that I talked to at market, they um, they were having they enjoyed what they were seeing. I think they were they were enjoying the market, particularly on the bedding side. And um, uh, there there was a lot there were a lot of new introductions in bedding, and I think David Perry would have more to say about that if he was here, but he's still at the market. Um, I, I did get there early. I went to Furniture Marketing Group's annual symposium. It was their 25th, um, 25th anniversary symposium. They had more than 60% of their membership there, 70 retailers and more than 250 people in attendance. And it was all about, um, it, this, the theme was it's all about you, but it really seemed to be all about technology because almost every presentation had to do with digital or improving your digital uh, presence online. For more coverage of the Las Vegas market, including some of the issues you heard here, such as the ongoing port congestion, turn to this week's Furniture Today.